Hindustan Aeronautics has released an in-house approved production timeline of the Tejas Mark II program, which shows that HAL will start production from 2026, and will start delivering Tejas Mark II fighter jets to the Indian Air Force from early 2028. HAL will scale up production to 25 to 30 aircraft per year, and all 120 Tejas Mark II fighter jets will be delivered by 2031. The year 2031 is not only the deadline to deliver all 120 Tejas Mark II aircraft to Indian Air Force, but also to manufacture reserve panels and airframe components that are meant for storage, that can be used as a replacement for the in-service Tejas Mark II aircraft in case of any damages. The Indian Air Force chief had said recently, that the Tejas Mark II will play a key role in plugging capability gaps, and more orders will be placed and more than 210 Tejas Mark II fighters will be ordered in the long term. With a potential deal for 100 Tejas lift variant to the Egyptian Air Force with local production line, the Indian Defence Minister has arrived in Egypt, and he held discussions with Egyptian Defence Minister, and will sign an agreement to expand defence and security cooperation. Egypt is looking to acquire around 100 lead and fighter trainers, and the Egyptian Air Force is expected to select an aircraft by 2023, and the main emphasis will be on local production and technology transfer. Interestingly, South Korea has also started promotion of the F-A-50 in Egypt, while China is offering its L-15 Falcon, and Italy's Leonardo has pitched its M-346 for the contract. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is developing a new dual-voltage auxiliary power unit for armoured vehicles, that will be used on indigenous light tank, future infantry fighting vehicles and the future main battle tank. The auxiliary power unit will be an alternate source of power for the fire control system, and will cater for power requirements when deployed in surveillance mode, that will also conserve the life of main engine of the tank. The Indian Air Force has decided to go ahead with its project Cheetah, but instead of the Israeli manufacturer, Indian defense firms would now arm the existing fleet of Heron drones with better communication systems and missiles to target enemy from long ranges. The Indian Air Force is the main lead in the project, under which the Heron drones of the Air Force Navy and the Army will be upgraded with strike capabilities. Private sector firm Pain Indian India Private Limited has completed the conceptual validation of 4.5 kN turbojet engine, and it has now started the prototype development. XDRDO scientists are working on the project to create an entire family of aero engines from 3 kN to up to 12 kN, to power cruise missiles and larger unmanned aerial vehicles, that will stop the country's dependence on foreign firms. Instead of emergency procurement from foreign vendors, the Indian Army has invited the domestic defense industry to offer critical defense equipment for emergency procurement, and has shared request for proposals for guns, missiles, drones, counter drone system, loitering munitions, specialist vehicles and optical systems. The process will be based on compressed timeline, and the local industry will have to deliver equipment within one year of signing the contract. The fabrication of the first pre-production Cats Warrior will begin in early 2023, and Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies will roll out the first fabricated Cats Warrior Loyal Wingman aircraft by end of 2023. After initial taxi trials of the Cats Warrior, the first flight is expected to be carried out by mid-2024. Oh, my God.